Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to give my thoughts on the latest episode of Naruto Shippuden. Naruto Shippuden episode 364. Now, that link is going to be in the description box down below on Crunchyroll.com. This episode, honestly, it's touching. It's touching and it's sad because, first of all, Neji was... One of my favorite characters when it came to the pre time skip. Huge Neji fanboy. When he fought against Kidomaru. Oh my god. Wow. That fight, man. That was one of the most, if not the most, emotional fight for me personally in the entirety of Naruto. Neji versus Kidomaru. It was it was so fucking impactful for me personally. Again, Neji was my favorite character at that point in time. And now we see Neji. And Neji dies, saving Naruto. And he got toothpicks to the back. Real creative. <sighs> I'm going to get more into detail about, the, about uh, Neji's death. That's very obvious. Later on in the review. But this review is not going to be that long. So let me start off with the Juby... And Madara and Obito. The Juby has some serious firepower. Now, Madara and Obito, they're having trouble controlling the Juby because the Juby right now is in his second transformation. And there's a third one on the way. So it has another mode. Or as the Japanese say, modal. And the problem here is that in order to control the Juby in that third mode, a Jinchuriki of the Juby must be created. So right now, it looks like the power position belongs to Obito. Because Madara cannot use the, I forgot what it's called, but the Rinnegan Technique where you can restore life to someone. And he can't, Madara can't do that, but Obito can. So, right now, Obito is in the position of power. So, a little bit weird, because Madara, I mean, Madara was the one who was manipulating, but he was Flamingo. He was the guy behind the scenes going like this and c controlling everyone. But Obito is, you know, right now in charge. And what they did when it came to attacking the quote-unquote brain, the hub of the ninja, the Shinobi Alliance, just how the episode starts off with the Shinobi Alliance attacking the hub of their forces, meaning Obito and Madara, to stop the Jubi, they do a... They do an exact counterplay, and they take out their hub with ease. Because the Juby has these ridiculously powerful, like, Juby Bijdama shells. And they can go a ways away fairly quickly. And we have, apparently, Shikaku and Inoichi, whatever their names are, the fathers of Ino and Shikamaru. They have, like, their final words. And, like, they have one final plan. Before they get wiped out. Well, they get quote-unquote wiped out. Because we don't know. In order to confirm death, you gotta see what? A body. So we haven't seen any bodies. And we won't see any bodies anytime soon. Not even in the manga. But the point here is that... We can assume right now that they're dead. And... What I will say... Is that I don't know how Madara and Obito knew that they were over there. Like, I don't know how they figured it out. But they were somewhat able to, like, pinpoint the location of the Shinobi Alliance headquarters. Again, I don't know how, they just knew. But, either way, thing here is these Bijou shells can wipe out an entire city, just completely level it. And then these things, like, the explosion goes up into, like, the stratosphere. It's like, bro, it's like, yo, <laughs> these things are huge. And the and the Juby itself can fire them like repeatedly. I'm like, wow. damn, damn. So pretty cool. But the Juby again, very very hard to control. And then we have the next round of scenes, which involve uh, Neji's death. And you know it was cool seeing the Hugh come in there and defend Naruto against the tails that are now like extended hands, like on some Mr. Fantastic shit. And what I will say was that 
before Neji died, I gotta give props to Hugo, uh, to uh, Hinata's father. Because Hinata's father by himself did like a giant air wall thing. And like deflected one of the hands. Like by himself, like, yeah! I'm like, damn! I'm like, yo, Hugo! Hugo! Like, where you been at? Seriously! So, again, that was cool. Very cool. But, what I do want to say was that what irked me about that whole entire thing was, number one, the fact that, the fact that Obito was speeching. He was like, after he had killed Neji, like, yeah, Naruto, what now? Look around you, man. Woo! I just killed. What happened to saving your friends and not letting anyone die? What happened, man? Huh? And then he goes on. I mean, like, if you were to stop there, okay, fine. But he goes on and on about dreams and fuck reality and take my hand, even though you're like 15 kilometers over there. Like, so, so like, it's, it's weird. Obito just speeching. And then he sits there and he waits. He waits for Hinata and Naruto to have their emotional scene with the uh, Naruto kun and blah 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 blah. And the fact that Obito just stood there and waiting. And then when Madara turned around, at first he's like, you know what, Madara? You know, well, at first Madara, he's like, Obito is just like me back when I was, you know, alive. Back in my golden years. And now he's looking at Obito the second time around that scene. And he's saying, oh, well, he's hesitant. Naruto makes him uneasy. And then he strikes. It's like, after you did the toothpicks, just do a damn bijou shell. At that point in time, Killer B was in full effect. And then in come Killer B inside for a nice, pretty, for a, a, a pretty cool attack. Where he actually fires his own Bijama inside of the stomach of the Juby. So, Obito, even though he was in the power position, he just stood there and waited. Like, oh, uh, what's Naruto's reaction going to be? Uh, uh. Five minutes later. Okay, fuck this, uh. I'm like, dude, seriously. Ah, uh, fucking Obito. But, again. Neji coming in there, saving Naruto from the toothpicks. Save. <sighs> I want to fly like an eagle. That's what he did. Came in there. Devil gun. <sighs> and let me tell you, though, right? Let me tell you. Neji's death is sad to me. And I'm pretty sure to a lot of folks as well. But what irks me is knowing, and I said this when this happened in the manga, and I'm gonna say it now. What irks me the fucking most, what bugs me the most, and the long time subs, they already know, right? they, they already fucking know, is that this dude Neji, Neji died without ever realizing that he was right. Oh. This dude is a soothsayer. He is Notre-Dameus. And given the recent events in the chapters, what he said in the past was solidified even further. Beyond leaps and bounds. Oh, Jesus pieces. And I'm like, fuck. What, what he said was so on the money and it bugs the living hell out of me. Because if he had died knowing that, I would have been a lot more satisfied. I really would have. Oh my god. But no. He's gonna die in the dark when it comes to that when it comes to that truth. He's never gonna know it. I remember when I did that video for the chapter. I, I, I ranted for like a good like 15 minutes, probably. But you know <laughs> I'm gonna call it quits right then and there. Because it's, it is. I've talked about it in several discussion videos. Several. And I'm not going to link. See, I would link them to you. But they do contain spoilers for the Naruto only. Like, for the Naruto Shippuden watchers only. So I'm not going to link them. But I've talked about this in detail so many times. And people try so hard to negate it. But they can't. Because there are legitimate facts within the story themselves. That you cannot negate. And it's like, bro, it's like, bro, man, it's, it's, it's sad. It really is. But either way, the last thing here, we have this bond growing clearly, obviously, 
one of Nendi's last words to Naruto. Hinata-sama is willing to die for you, therefore you hold one more life in your hand, on your shoulders. And this obviously has gotten the Hinata cross Naruto, the Naruhina cats fired up. Like, oh yeah! Woo! Yeah, they got them fired up. And, again, Naruhina Cats, you guys are like, yeah, we got it. We fucking got it. So I'm done. I'm done. Can't like it. Rate the video. Comment. Subscribe. Episode overall, it was good. If I know it was pretty damn good, I'll give it a great. Even though I'm not really reviewing it, I'm just giving my thoughts. Fuck it. I'll give it a rating. Great. Peace. Have a nice day. And look at the sense of danger right now. The Juby emits just an astronomical sense of danger. He just killed three, well, two semi-important fuckers and one very important fucker, even though this fucker, being Neji, has not been relevant ever since the time skip. But hey, still, more important than damn Eno's father and Shikamaru's father. Just saying. I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe, peace, have a nice day.